want to turn skin cells into stem cells, we first take a small skin sample from a patient. In this case, it's a heart patient who's having a pacemaker placed. And we take a small biopsy from those tissues. We first have to make the cells loose from the skin by placing them overnight in enzymes. They're placed at 37 degrees, that's body temperature, to make them uh, become loose. We then put the cells in a dish and add the four genes in a virus which infects them. And over the next uh, few weeks, the cells turn into stem cells that can become everything. After that, we can just keep on growing the cells. We collect them, again using enzymes from a dish, and to get rid of the excess fluid, we put them in a centrifuge. I have now the buis with the cells out. You see here under in the buis, you see the afgedraaid cells. We call it actually the cell pellet. So these above the vloerstof, I can now carefully remove and the cells remain then under. We give them a cocktail of factors that turns them into different kinds of cells. This all has to be done under sterile conditions, which is why the technician's using gloves, and it all has to be done in a sterile cabinet. We have to bring the cells into suspension very gently, and we do that by tapping the tube. The cells are then brought into these sterile plastic dishes, and we have to count them. And we do this by placing them in a little glass chamber in which there are squares, and we can count the cells. If we put in a, a coloured fluid, a blue fluid here, we can see which cells are alive and which cells are dead. The dead ones are blue, this is what they look like under the microscope, and you count dead and live cells. And then we know exactly how many live cells. We convert it into how many we have per milliliter, and then we can put the right cell density, as the right number of cells in each new dish. That's very crucial to keeping the process going. So then we put the exact number of cells we want. It'll be about 100,000 cells in a dish. And within a week, they'll grown up to several hundreds of thousands, even millions of cells. They have to be placed in a warm incubator. It's at body temperature, 37 degrees. We have to make sure they're well distributed in the dish. So we shake them to make them separate from one another. And all of those different plastic dishes have stem cells in, either stem cells just growing or stem cells turning into nerve or heart.